here we are in a Tiger Moth aeroplane, and this is a general layout of its cockpit. On the instrument board, we have the engine revolution counter, the airspeed indicator, which shows the speed at which the machine is traveling through the air, and underneath, a cross level, which helps you to keep on an even keel. This is the altimeter, recording the height of the machine, and the oil pressure gauge, which has the same function as on a car. Here's the joystick, more correctly termed the control column, which can be moved in any direction. A sideways movement operates the ailerons, controlling the angle of bank in a turn. There are the ailerons moving. The fore and aft movement moves the elevators, which makes the nose of the machine go up or down. The rudder is operated by the feet. All these three controls are used at the same time during flight. Engine speed is controlled by the throttle. Open, shut, open, shut. And this is the ignition switch. Up for on and down for off. Petrol is carried here in this tank. When the tap is turned on, the petrol flows through this pipeline to the filter. Just a minute and I'll show you. There it is, and so to the carburetor. Shocks in front of the wheels prevent the machine moving forward when the engine starts. Switch on. Oh, here we go. Shocks are taken away and we taxi into position to take off. The takeoff is always made into wind. And this type of aeroplane leaves the ground at approximately 40 miles an hour. There is a left hand turn, left bank and left rudder. A right hand turn, right bank and right rudder. Now you are in the air too. The controls are so sensitive and move so slightly that it is quite impossible to see their movements. As in taking off, we always land into wind. With the engine throttled back, we glide gently towards the ground. And again, at about 40 miles an hour, the machine drops lightly onto the aerodrome.